same procedure but I'm installing this one in the backyard and it's not a sensor it don't have a sensor on it now look taking this apart look at it oh look at it. it's rusted in there yep yep rusted okay so I got a lot of work on this one a lot of work but I'll be done in no time you notice I have to tap into this one right here. It screws right in there. If you look at it, all the rust is built up in here. I gotta tap into this. Hang tight for just a minute. Gotta tap into that. Once I tap into that, right in here. And I'll be able to put a screw, like how I could put a screw here. Thank God this is not all rusted out. You know what I mean? Look at all this. Okay, so don't, we'll see you. It won't take me too long. We'll see you in a few. Yep, got to tap that in there. As you can see, everything is taken out. The screws are taken out. Although they were rusted, I took them out, drilled them out. Beautiful. Beautiful, ready to install the new. And then they, she have, we have to seal this. This is because of the back patio. The water drained down in the back here, so we're gonna have to try something new. She have to seal this properly, okay? But I'm only the light installer, so we'll worry about that afterwards. I'll let her know that it has to be sealed properly. We'll put some caulking around it, some weatherproof, and she should be all right. It shouldn't occur again. In the meantime, we just need to hurry up and finish the job. Okay? As you can see, installing the new, putting new screws. Okay, no, the new inner housing. So I can rotate this where it needs to be. There you go. I could always lock it into place. I could always lock it into place so as long as this rotate properly, okay, that's beautiful. Log this in, tie this in here so this could be nice and level and everything is gonna go good, okay? Step by step process, locking these in, locking the, the inner frame in, the housing. Okay, just get it nice and snug. Okay, beautiful. Continue on the other side. Repeat the process. You got to tighten these, fasten these real nice and tight. Get them right here. And then you just have to adjust these screws. These right here, you just have to adjust them to the rightful length. You notice I have the locking nut in there. Right there as well, they have the locking nut. So I could adjust these to the length that they need so they can fit right in. That's all we got to do. And then we lock it in with the lock nut. Beautiful. Right now I'll go and lock this little screw right here. You'll see right here it's a locking screw. I just gonna give it a little snug so I could be able to pivot this wherever I want it so it could be nice and strong. Get the level right. That should be it right there and then I tighten this up nice and snug right there. It's locked in. Lock this one in as well. Locked in. Beautiful. Now this is adjusted just by, you can see it's leveled pretty good. So now, as you see, we're gonna skin the wires them a little bit longer. Just skin them right about here, right about here. And then we start the process, connecting the wires, the neutral wires and the hot wires. Okay, all we gotta do, and then we're home free. Okay, repeating the process. Tighten these in. Put in the neutral wires. And okay, we put these locking nuts in there, nice and snug. Nice and snug. That's right. And we repeat the process with the hot wire, okay? 
if you notice the hard wire was kind of painted and you have to make sure you find the right wire this is black because you can see the paint was coming off of it I scraped the paint off it when you know the neutral wire will always be white but see this was all painted because of the wall somebody just spray painted in the back here and they didn't even take notice that they caught the wires but I caught it as you can see neutral to neutral which is white with white black with black don't you ever forget it okay and we'll continue and I'll show you how well it looks okay how beautiful it looks Okay, we make sure we put this the way it's supposed to. Okay, then we can tuck the wires them in on the back. As you can see, make sure you get it in properly. You put in the screws the way it's supposed to. Tuck all the wires them in. Okay. As long as you put the screws them in, the bolts in to keep it nice and secure. See? Once you do that, then everything is smooth sailing from there. Okay? We install the studs, okay, on either sides. I have the other stud right here. I installed one, so now I'm gonna install the other one. You have different ones. You got ones? Okay. Install the stud. Install the studs right here. As long as that is installed. Perfectly boom nice and tight Okay, you just go ahead and take it and put it up to the top Go ahead and put it to the top Like this it'll fall right into place Okay Beautifully done Another job well done Okay, nice and snug boom. There you go Okay, as you can see take these little nuts right here little bolts oh they got them nice and tiny and my my big hands you know my big fingers okay just nicely take your time and you repeat the process on the other side and there you have it job well done another job well done beautifully beautifully done beautiful go ahead and subscribe okay it's all done said and done Beautiful. Look at it. But we just, she just, I just let her know. These got to be sealed. So the same thing can't happen again. We have to seal these so the water don't drain back in here because the water will drain down. And when it rains, the water will drain down in there. So we have to re redo this, caulk it again. But water is going to find its way through anyway. So I just let her know as soon as she get home. It's a beautiful thing. Now when she comes, she'll be totally surprised. Everything is installed for her. Beautiful, y'all take care. Another job well done. Do it yourself. Go ahead and subscribe, man. Your boy does good work, okay? Do it yourself.